Hey guys, before we start the fourth episode in the series, I just want to take a couple of seconds to say thank you so much. The channel's been growing uh, really well as of late. We just hit a new milestone, 200,000 views. That's a personal goal of mine. Uh, thank you so much. Next one, we're going to try and hit 2,000 subscribers, hopefully before my birthday. I'd really like to get there, but again, just uh, how well the channel's been doing right now. I just wanted to uh, show my appreciation and to say thank you. Also, while you're here, guys... If uh, you missed any of the first uh, two or three videos, there's, uh, they're spread out across my two channels. They're all in one playlist now called Toy Lines. Feel free to check those out. Again, I'd appreciate that. And also, if you are new to or coming back to the channel, maybe you want to hit that bell. This way you get all of your push notifications and you'll always know when a new video game hunting video, uh, retro news, all kinds of video game news articles, or the next one of the obscure obscure toy lines come out so you know up to you but i just wanted to say thank you really appreciate it now let's look at some toys Groovy. supernaturals by tonka 1987 ghost warriors with double channel holograms lionheart is the leader of the good guys while skull the leader of the bed these figures' chest and head holograms would change depending on the direction your view angle was. The shields also had holograms embedded in them, and the weapons were glow-in-the-dark. Wheeled Warriors, Mattel, 1983 These toys from Mattel, one of the more underappreciated toy and cartoon lines of the 80s, building off the Micronauts line, these toys had interchangeable parts so you could customize your rig. The animated series Jace and the Wheeled Warriors was actually originally written in French and then translated to English. This surprised me because when uh, people mentioned it, uh, it brought back a lot of memories for me, but then for other people, they've never heard of it. Looking back at it, it's honestly one of my favorite early 80s cartoons and sadly it never got a proper ending because it was cancelled after its original run, but you can find it on DVD now. In a nutshell, it's about Jace looking for his father. His father was a great scientist who tried to stop starvation on the planet, uh, created these crazy plants, there was an explosion, basically creating Saw Boss and his followers, the Monster Minds. You know, just looking back at this commercial, I have to find the DVDs. Sectors by Coleco, 1985. Now, before I begin, I have to embarrassingly say that I didn't really remember the cartoon or the toys that much. I actually mistaken them for He-Man on a flea market adventures a few years back. I do remember the bug with the uh, glove hand. That was awesome. Standard 80s fare, radiation on the planet, you get supersized insects and arachnids, and even the humanoid characters take on insect qualities. Sectors. Starcom from Mattel 1986. Now this was recommended in the comments from a viewer, and after I googled it to see what it was again, this really brought back memories. I loved these toys as a child. Basically, it was the coolest aspect of it was that the figurines had little tiny magnets embedded in them so that they could stick to any vehicle, make it look like they were in outer space, and the magnets even helped activate certain devices and playsets. Really, really cool toy. I wish I had some of these. This brought back a lot of memories. Record Breakers, Hasbro 1989. Now, Record Breakers World of Speed were a toy line of battery operated mini 4WD and 2WD race cars manufactured by Hasbro themselves. I think the coolest thing about these were the interchangeable tops. You could change the engine, the battery, the wheels on the side. They were very customizable. There was even a TV show of them in the late 80s where kids would race their souped up little uh, race cars. WWF Wrestling Superstars Thumb Wrestlers LJN 1985 Okay guys, this is where I'm going to need your help. Down in the comments, if you have any more information on these guys, please share it because I had a really hard time finding little, you know, anything to little information about these guys. I remember having them as a child and there are a few forms where people are selling them, trading them, still having them on cardstock, 
but in terms of information, it's very hard to come by, so anything you can find or share would be appreciated. And the last thing I want to show you guys this week is the Turning Turbo Dashboard by Tomei 1983 and the Fun to Drive Dashboard by Playmates 1985. Now looking for information for this, first of all, I would say any, any person that's in their mid to late 30s had one of these as a child, but there's a big comparison on the internet about which was better out of the two, and now people are buying these up and they're kind of retro pieing them and putting uh, outrun in them, making them retro racers, so I thought that was interesting. And again guys, please recommend a toy line, I'm not running out of ideas, but I would really love to uh, learn new toy stuff that you loved, stuff that you played with as a child, here in our comment gallery, just some recommendations that we had. And thanks a lot for watching guys, I really enjoy doing this. Next week's video we're going back to the flea market, we'll probably have another obscure toy line by the end of March, but again guys, recommend a toy line that I haven't shown yet, and if you know any information about the thumb wrestlers, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks a lot guys.